Okay, in the uh, last question, uh, we're asked something, something slightly different, um, and this is perhaps a little, little trickier. A zoologist uh, finds a turtle shell, which he believes to be 100,000 years old. Uh, now, it, it turns out that that's not important at all. The shell weighs 10 kilograms, so uh, that's uh, 10 kilograms. Uh, let's just go back and like that. So uh, that's uh, 10 kilos. Um, now, 10 kilograms of this turtle shell um, would have an activity of 40,000 counts per minute. So that's the number that we're going to write down for the radioactive activity uh, if this turtle was still alive today. But it says, if the shell is 100,000 years old, what must be the minimum sensitivity of the carbon dating machine? What is it talking about? Well, it gives you a hint here, and it says uh, you're going to work out how many half-lives would have passed in 100,000 years, and then we can work out the count rate and see what it should be now. What it's actually saying is, if if this is 100,000 years old, um, and we were to find out that it is 100,000 years old by doing some uh, counting of the radiation, how many counts would we expect to... Um, come from this shell. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is do exactly what it says in the hint. We're going to work out how many half-lives would have passed in 100,000 years. So to do this, um, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, we're just going to make ourselves 100,000 years and we're going to divide into that the uh, length of radioactive carbon-14 uh, half-life, which is 5,700 years. Okay, so uh, don't worry, you'll always be able to take the calculator into an exam. So, um, we're going to take 100,000 and we're going to divide that by 5,700 years. That's the length of a half-life. And that gives us about 17 and a half half-lives. Um, so, you know, we'll just go with 17 and a half. Okay, and it's that number of half lives. Okay, in fact, we'll forget the half. Okay, um, we'll just use 17. So, 17 half lives um, must have passed in 100,000 years. Well, that allows us now to um, go and work out if this turtle shell is 100,000 years old, all we have to do is to take this activity, okay, and half it, uh, but do it 17 times. And that's fairly easy to do, okay, so let's do that right now. Make a bit of space for ourselves. And here we go. We can take 40,000 counts per minute and we can half that once, half it twice, half it three times and so on until we've done that 17 times. Now there's an easier way to write when we're dividing by two 17 times and it's simply this. Two to the 17. Now that number just happens to be, okay, 2, 17, uh, 131,072. So this number, okay, uh, 2 to the 17 is 131,072. So now um, that's the amount that the activity will decrease by over those 100,000 years. Okay, and this will be the activity which our measuring instruments must be able to detect if we're to get an answer to this question. Is it 100,000 years old? Okay, so it's calculated time again, and it's 40,000 counts per minute divided by 131,072. 
And this gives us an answer of 0 0.305. So I'm just going to round that up to 0 0.3 counts per minute. And it's that which our detector has to be able to measure if we're going to come up with an answer yes or no this is 100,000 years old or not and that's the answer